the crowd here. So we look at the bipolar transistor differential amplifier and see if we can improve its cone mode rejection capabilities. So anyway, let's have a look. Um, so this is the differential amplifier, the basic version that we already built in a previous video. And we're feeding in like a kilohertz, that's the basically the signal we want to pass through and then it's being disturbed by a 50 hertz signal which is the common mode signal we actually want to get rid of and then we also reviewed these circuits which is this constant current sources and I chose to that we will use this one and then you ask well, what will you do with this one well actually the well, what you can do is that you can, instead of having this 10k resistor, you can replace this with a constant current source. And it will make the um, common mode response a little bit more stable. So, let's add it and um, see what happens. So, anyway, this was actually a better result than I thought, even, even though this circuit is, of course, <laughs> not very good liable as an analog circuit and do the all the wiring the way it's done but anyway this is the input signal which I've actually increased significantly the amplitude of the um, common mode disturbance and look this is the output so it stays very stable one kilohertz and I mean the jittering in the measurement is just because as you see this is a <coughs> complete wire, wire nest here so it gathers a lot of disturbance but th this is actually really interesting. I wasn't able to do that before when I had the resistor. If I put this amplitude of um, in common mode disturbance, then it would actually reflect on the outgoing signal. Cool. Here I just um, reduced the um, common mode interference to something that would be a little bit closer to what one might have in, in real life. And then you can see that it really has a nice impact of stabilizing the output signal without the common mode um, disturbance. I hope you found this informative. Please um, consider subscribing. Hit the like button um, if you think the video is worth it. Merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, the links are in the description. All the contributions will go towards developing the channel and new projects. And I'll see you in the next one.